Come here, doggy. Come here. Ah. <laughs> hey, we ain't going yet. We ain't gonna go in yet. Come here. So, uh, just hanging out at my parents' house. Gonna make a video for you guys, because I don't know what's up with me lately. I, uh, I haven't posted a video in like a month and a half. Or no, like a month. Yeah, about a month. And I either post a video a month now or two videos a month now. I'm going to try making a lot more videos because I used to be really on this. Whoa, we're in. I'm zooming. I used to be really on this shit. But, uh, I don't know, man. I've been working two jobs Sunday to Sunday. I had one day off randomly over a month and a half course. So, I've been busting ass. So I haven't really had time to... Upload videos, I have a couple I have to edit, blah blah blah, I'm not trying to make this long. So, um, I ended up selling my blazer, I think I posted a video about that, then I bought another Escort, and I was running that for a little bit, and then uh, I sold that and I got a different vehicle, and I'm about to show you that in a second, but I just want you guys to know that the plan is still green light, uh, I am buying a Tahoe, and I am going to be putting a crazy crazy wall build. I've been working my ass off, like, non-stop work, haven't had really days off. I go out sometimes on nightlight stuff, like I still do, but I can afford it. Uh, man, it's, it's, it's been crazy the last couple months, but uh, I did the smart approach, the mature approach, because the way I was thinking of it is if I buy a Tahoe for a lot of money and then put a lot of cardio in it, the only person, if something happened that I had to sell the Tahoe, the only people that would want to buy that kind of vehicle is a base head so if I had to strip it down like I have how like uh, prior knowledge now of having the blazer walled off that when you revert something to stock from a car audio built it lessens the value of what an original vehicle would be so I'm just trying to do the smart thing because I am growing up I work a lot I live on my own blah 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 boring life stuff so I did the mature thing and bought a nice vehicle as my main vehicle and then uh, I put winter tires on it blah 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 as you guys can tell, I don't want to make a long video, but anyways, I bought a nice vehicle, and I'm going to use the Tahoe as a winter vehicle, and if something happens to it, and it's on blocks or something, I can use this vehicle to drive in the winter. Preferably not, but we'll see. But the plan is still to get a Tahoe as a secondary vehicle now, and then use this vehicle as my main vehicle. So, uh, I got a Chrysler 300. I've always wanted one of these. It's such a nice car. It's probably one of the nicest cars I had, and one of the faster ones I've definitely had. Actually, this literally is the fastest car I've had, and all my friends, literally, wherever we go, they always want me to drive. Uh, it is bone stock, besides having a Canon Air uh, panel filter, just drop-in air filter, you know. Uh, which is still nice, because that saved me 60 bucks, and it's washable and all that stuff, and my car is dirty right now. But uh, it's a very nice car, this had the least amount of miles uh, in the Michigan and Ohio area. So I'm very happy about that. I looked at three or four of them. They all had around 180K, 160K. This one has 100,000 miles, which is very low for this. And it had the highest points uh, point range for the Kelly Blue Book thing or whatever when I did a background check. So it scored really, really good. Uh, it's like two points above what everyone else was. So uh, Things I'm going to be doing in this car, I already put a uh, brand new really aggressive snow tires on this to be my winter rims and tires I'm buying summer rims chrome rims probably 20s or 22s putting slicks on it and then if i have to use this in the winter when i have a tahoe because it's on blocks or something like i said i can drive this if i have to but prefer not to uh i'm not gonna be putting subs into it i'm going to be doing a uh sound quality kind of build uh I'm gonna be getting like all rock for gate interior speakers some really nice ones and uh, Rockford Fosgate PBR 300x4 because I really love that mini amp. It's a really good amp and I've had it two or three times now and I'm uh, impressed with it every single time. So, yeah, it's very clean, guys. Very clean interior. All that stuff. There goes my neighbor. And, uh, uh a lot of trunk seats for base activities, but Unfortunately, I will not be putting bass in here. Just really, really nice component speakers, so I'll have bass, but not have bass. And it's really a shame, because my bass head friends are like, Oh my god, you can put a huge battery back here, blah blah blah, it's in the rear. And I know I'm kind of slacking, but I just don't want to deal with the whole rattling trunk thing and all that stuff. And I just want to keep it how it is. The only thing this thing really needs now is a tune-up, ignition coils, spark plugs. I'm going to be putting some really nice stuff into here. Uh, sucks because I have to take the plenum off, which is kind of a pain in the ass, and you have to cover it up so nothing falls into the engine, but something me and my buddy are going to do together, so he's a mechanic, and I kind of know what I'm doing, but I just want him there in case something happens, so yeah, but overall, I need something besides uh, 
tune up and an oil change, which I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, other than that, it runs so smooth. I am so impressed. I love this thing. It's one of the faster, is the fastest car I've owned. So, uh, sorry if this video is a little long. I hope it's not. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on. So, I'm going to try posting some videos. I'm going to be working on this car. You'll see videos of that. Cardio wise, going to be working on people's cars like I still am. Still have videos to upload. Sorry about that, guys. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens, and uh, hope everything's going good with you guys, and I know lifestyles are crazy and shit, so hopefully all of you are good too, so, uh, alright, well, uh, I guess see you guys later. Say bye-bye, Rocky. Bye-bye, bye-bye-bye. <laughs> alright, peace, guys.